those that three weeks but I didn't get him straight formula of course you know it was maybe two ounces of formula and then the rest was five um four ounces of breast milk I started off like that little by little and it wasn't feeling right with him so I to forget it I'm gonna throw away the can and I throw it away um yeah so I did get frustrated I will admit um I did get to a point where I was like I'm gonna give up this is frustrating because my son, my Brand Bradley, he, um, I felt like, you know, it was, oh, this video's gonna go over, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's already at 10 minutes, um, there's just so much going on, <laughs> Cause I wish I just did little updates on each one of them, so that way you guys can know <laughs> what's going on, um, I guess real quick, Bradley, he's very hypersensitive, um, I think right now we're gonna he's gonna be currently diagnosed with a SPD but we're not too sure because we, we definitely know he's hypersensitive so he's hypersensitive with hearing and scent so um, he's working with a deaf breast for sensory issues and stuff like that um, so they just gonna cause some doctors the therapist home some doctors don't diagnose it because of insurance purposes but um, I just want to make sure my son is getting, you know, if he needs the help, make sure he gets it. But anyway, Bradley's always, he's always been the only child, but when Brandon came, it was, he took it kind of rough. Um, he was very outbursts here and there, tantrums, like tantrums, like there's no tomorrow, like seriously, this kid, whoa. But um, who can blame him, you know, he was with his mom for like ever. And she's gone for like three days, and when she comes back, she comes back with a new different person that's always attached to her boob. Like, what's going on? Who wouldn't be angry, right? So, you know, and then the breastfeeding, Brandon at first, he was giving me a hard time with breastfeeding. And at that time, I didn't want to give up. I was like, I'm not going to give up. My my willpower was really high. At that. I was like, I'm not going to give up. I don't care. I'm not going to listen to nobody. I know what's best for my kid. So I just kept going and going. With um, breastfeeding, um, his problem pretty much was just latching problems. Um, it's and I think it's my fault because I, I mean not my fault, but you know, it's TMI. But um, I think the my breasts, my nipples were like he couldn't grab onto them because I think they were kind of flat. So he really didn't uh, latch pretty good. I tried nipple shields, I tried stuff, but above the all we kept going and now he's a perfect latcher he's a perfect feeder <laughs> he's an egg it took a while though so i was nursing for about like 45 minutes at a time when he was at least until he was i don't know four months so it was rough it was a lot of time it was very time confused consuming and he was eating like he wanted to be nursed like almost every hour every two hours and then, you know, I have my toddler here, and, you know, it was kind of hard. I felt guilty. I wasn't showing him attention. It was back and forth, so that's why after a certain time, I wanted to um, introduce Brandon to formula because maybe I thought it would be easier, and I can give both my kids some chances, some separate time. So, and, you know, I'm, on my fiance's I work, I'm here alone. I don't have no one to come visit me. You know, just my fiance's mom, my mom. But that's pretty much who visits me, and that's like once a month, pretty much. So I really don't get help. So it's only me by myself. So it was pretty rough for me. Um, you know. And I couldn't go outside a lot because it was cold. <laughs> so it's just, it was rough. That's why I wanted to give up on a breastfeeding. But I told myself, you can keep going. Even though I gave him formula, I felt guilty about it. So that's why I just told myself, you know what? No, so I was like, part of me was like, if it was good enough for Bradley, why is it not good enough for Brandon? And then the other one was like, but breast milk is much better, and it's healthier, and you know what's in it, so why not? Don't give up, he likes it. <laughs> I sound crazy right now, right? But <laughs> yeah, pretty much that was my, my own battle between myself. And um, it just all comes down to me feeling guilty for not giving enough Bradley enough time, and me feeling guilty for not for continuing breastfeeding but I did continue I stopped formula and I found ways to um, entertain Bradley at the same time so what I did was I gathered a few toys I bought a few toys for Bradley 
well, when I only nursed. So whenever I nursed, I sat down and I brought the toys out and Bradley was entertained for those like 30 minutes that I was nursing and perfect. <laughs> and then after I nursed, I put him down and I will have some sort of time with Bradley and we would just play and I wasn't pregnant no more so I was able to rumble and tumble with him. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that it. If you have any more questions about what I just said and what, what was going on because I know I just rambled. And I don't want this video to go way too overboard because already at 14. Um, okay, so pretty much I'm going to start potty training. I'm gonna be a new cloth diapering mom. Um, I am I'm also going to be sharing my journey with Bradley and his um with his sensory problems. Um, was hypersensitivity. Um, I'll have more information about that. Um, what else? Just life, everyday life stuff. So if you have any requests, please let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm an open book. So if you have any questions, um, whatever. If you want to know anything about me, just let me know and I'll gladly will tell you guys. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and uh, I hope I didn't leave nothing out. And if I did, I'm sorry, but the timer is making me stop this video. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.